I, I've made these little cards up. I will show you these. Uh, show you these guys. Show these to you guys after we get uh, going here a little bit. But just to start off, the whole idea of the uncivilized vitality uh, methodology when we're packing or camping is we have three lines of gear. We talk about uh, pockets and pouch. So like the stuff I have on me constantly, um, and that's pretty simple. I have my I have my wallet, my ID. I keep some sort of flame source on me, like a disposable lighter or a, a fire steel. I usually wear one around my neck or have in my belt. A little flashlight. I keep um, a multi-tool and a secondary knife on me. I have one or two um, silk bandanas, morigamis, or cotton, and a length of cord. And a convenient way to carry some cordage are these little paracord bracelets. Um, this one in particular, I've got about 12 feet of cord. Same length as this hank rolled up, but it's not just in my pocket. Um, the thing with these bracelets is just getting them undone quicker. And uh, we're going to do that at the, this month's meeting at the craft. We're going to show you how to weave four or five different quick release uh, paracord bracelets. Um, then I carry uh, my sling and spear. I've got my, um, my pistol and other uh, magazine on me. So the things I carry on me, um, that's my first line. That stuff's always on me. Doesn't change when I go hiking. Doesn't change when I'm at work. Uh, that's what I have every day. That's the bare minimum. Uh, usually the first five families of our uncivilized technology. And then when we go out camping, if I'm just going out for a day hike or a walk in the woods uh, or a quick overnight, what people would sometimes call a survival, uh, we, we say emergency or just a day, uh, day camp, um, our day pack level or bedroll level, we used to call it. Sometimes you just roll up a blanket and a tarp as a bedroll, sling it over your shoulder and go out for the day. So that's our bedroll level, the second line. And there's uh, some gear you'd want to take there. Uh, good examples are our upcoming hike on Manitou Island. We'll set up a base camp where we drop everything off. And then we leave the base camp to walk to the other side of the island or do explore. We don't want to carry all of our gear necessarily. So we'll just take this uh, second line gear. That would include a few extra items like a, a blanket or an emergency tarp first aid kit. And then our uh, third line is uh, we call the full kit or base camp. And this would be gear for a multiple day or group outings. And that's going to change with your, um, the campaign parameters depending on where you're going. Like Manitou Island will be out there without support, without immediate regress to a, a highway or a, um, you know, a gas station or party store or even uh, sporting goods for something that was forgotten. So you have to take different things. Or if you were going up to a Long Lake Superior, Pitchard Rocks, or if you're just running over to Rose City to camp at Rifle River, there's different amounts of gear you would take. And then uh, some of these components at the third line are what you would coordinate with your pod or your squad. If you're going with three, uh, a pod or a squad of people, uh, you could coordinate. Everybody doesn't need to carry a full axe uh, or a full shovel. We don't need six saws and, and four buckets. Uh, so you can coordinate some of the third line with your, your group. And then uh, that little bit I'll explain about the card. So I've put a little laminated um, card together that's got the outlines, the first line, second line, and third line gear, and uh, explains like what they are in brief. And then on the reverse side, I've outlined the eight families of the uncivilized technology and outline them color coded so the red is the pockets and pouch and the blue is your second line and everything else your third line or full kit where you can kind of pick and choose All right so what i'm going to do now is we're going to go through a series of videos and we'll kind of cut them into hopefully cut them into little uh these little blocks according to the card so you can go through and um review or watch this uh when you're packing to kind of remember why we're taking these things and why they made the list so the eight families of technology are things that human beings in all cultures and all parts of the world have developed. Um, use the word technology, I don't mean like your smartphones and such, but uh, things like clothing. That was the first bit of technology that humans probably invented where they, they influenced or fashioned something from their environment to gain an advantage. Clothing is the most important, and that's going to fall into um, your protective clothing, like actual clothing, um, your sleeping components, and your shelter components. And then you have tools that are used for cutting and digging. Uh, it's going to be your knives, your axes, saws, and shovels. You have um, your ability to start fire or make light, uh, candles, um, oil lamps and such. But now we just go with a flashlight or a headlamp. And um, different ways to, to get flame or strike a spark, start a fire. So we talk about fire and light as a technologies group. 
We have uh, the bag, bottle, and bowls, uh, sometimes referred to as containers. These are sacks or bags or buckets or things you carry things in. And then uh, a water bottle, which is almost always a metal of some sort as to purify or contain water, which is uh, also very important. And uh, things to cook in. So that's divided into the bags, bottles, and bowls, mostly for water, uh, purification and storage, and then uh, cooking. And then after the uh, bags, bottles, and bowls, we talk about cordage as another family or the fifth family. And typically uh, with my, my water bottle I carry around with me every day, um, I have all five components on me, uh, the first five, a component of each on me all day long. Then we get into our sling and spear, which are, are technologies that are used for self-protection or to procure food. We'll talk about that. It's not literally a sling and spear, even though those are kind of the archetypes in that category. Um, nowadays, it'd be a, a, probably a pocket pistol and a, a fishing pole um, or archery, slingshots, that kind of thing. Then we have uh, what we call the salt and needle. The salt and needle is a, a family of tools or technology that's basically first aid, first and foremost, like emergency, a trauma kit, a uh, boo-boo bag, we'll go through that. And then self-care, this would be like your, your uh, glasses, your uh, toothbrush, your oral care, eye care, ear care, um, some basic uh, tools like that, and gear care, so that's your salt and needle. Then we have a family, the last family technology we call a uh, book, which is going to refer to any way that humans came up with to record and uh, transfer or disseminate information. So this would be literally a book, like our handbook, which you think I would have set out for this, but I didn't. Handbook, uh, a notebook, um, a note card and a pencil, but it also includes things like a compass and a map. Um, which we'll get into in the, the book video, and your lost and found uh, type of gear, how to stay oriented out in the woods. So uh, I've arranged and did sort of an analytic uh, analysis of all of the, the cultures I was uh, familiar with um, through reading and different things, and came up with these pre-civilized uh, technological families. So when we go out on our campaigns uh, in UV, we're going to pack and uh, prepare ourselves according to that list uh, to meet the rule of threes, which is three minutes without oxygen is, is, life, um, is a life risk. And oxygen means uh, bleeding as well. So if you, can't, if you can't stop bleeding or if you can't uh, get a good breath, you got about three minutes, that's the maximum before you're going to have some life-threatening um, life uh, situation. And then the second rule of three is going to be um, three hours. That's going to be exposure to... Uh, the elements, you get too hot or too cold for three hours. Uh, a lot of Most people die when they're lost of exposure as opposed to starving to death or wild animal attack or anything. So that's why clothing is the first uh, technological uh, family we deal with when you're going out camping. As long as you're sleeping warm, safe, and dry and avoid the four horsemen of misery, then you should be good. Uh, then you get up to three days. We're talking three days without water or sleep. That can affect... Um, your health and become life-threatening out in the woods. Then you get into three weeks, which is food. Um, believe it or not, you really can't go a long time without eating. So three weeks and then three months without any kind of social interaction. People go kind of crazy. But um, our family of technology is arranged in our camping gear list. Uh, first line being pockets and pouch deals with um, safety from the three minutes to the three hour to the three day line. And then the second roll is three days to three weeks. Third line is uh, indefinite, basically. So we're going to go through those in individual videos, uh, kind of break it up, and then uh, we'll get started.